Hello, my name is Rezalyn, and welcome to Satisfactory. Today we're going to be looking at a change that I've recently made to my power plant. Now, some of you may have run into this problem, but I was running into a problem where the fuel generators were, some of them, were turning on and off. But bottom line is, I would, well, even though I'm theoretically producing enough fuel to power all of the fuel generators, the reality was is that some of the generators are just turning on and off randomly uh, due to lack of fuel and that's being caused by fluid dynamics and uh, i fought with this i've worked on this in various different ways trying to get things to work and i finally hit upon a solution uh, and just gave up and put in some fluid buffer buffers to create a, a solution to this. So this is running at 100, still in running at 100% efficiency. So as a reminder, just going back through my setup here, is I'm bringing in on each side of this mirrored environment, I'm bringing in 225 uh, crude oil. I am using the alternate uh, blueprint for heavy oil residue to produce heavy oil. Throw in the residue into a awesome sink here, just getting rid of it. I have no use for it at this point in time. Then I take the heavy oil residue and bring it over into refineries over here that are taking that and along with packaged water are producing packaged fuel. From the packaged fuel, I bring that around here into packagers and unpackage the fuel and then send that out. Now there was two aspects of what I did here to fix this. The first one was, is I put this little U-joint right here in here that's at a higher level and there is some fluctuation and variability in this particular pipe and that's okay. I don't, I'm not worried about that, but the pipe can go, if it fills up going one way, you know, then it can come here and go into the other way. The other thing that I did was I brought in over here and I put in a pump here, uh, not because I needed it to raise the, uh, the, the height, but I wanted, it, this also acts as a valve, I also have a valve here, but this prevents backflow from going the other way, as well as providing pressure, you know, in order to, you know, push the fuel down the line. So I, you know, have this filled up the fuel buffer, so the fuel buffer is sitting here above the height of all of my generators, and then it feeds down from the fuel buffer into the lines here. And, and so I feed the fuel buffer and you know the fuel all down in here now this is all running at a hundred percent we if we come over here we can now see on my power graph that i have a straight line bar of what is going on here and what it's actually doing it is producing 17,700 and it's steady all the way across the chart uh, so that was one of the things that I did was in order to fix that. Now this does connect on both sides uh, on each one of these rows. So it, it you know I have full connectivity within all this. So the the, few, uh, the buffer allows the things to you know and allowing that to fill up and then the the little higher section here as a, as an escape valve uh, if necessary is keeping everything running smoothly. And I've got this mirrored over here, just the same setup. I've got a fuel buffer on each side uh, that's coming out of here. Each one of these is producing the, the fuel that comes out uh, into the fuel line. So each one of these is 60 a minute coming out. So there's 300 on this side, 300 on the other side. That's enough to completely fill up the 600 uh, cubic meter pipe. And that is feeding 50 fuel generators. And so the 50 uh, fuel generators times 12 per minute is the 600 per minute consumed. So uh, the the math works out, but the fuel buffers act to provide and, and the pump going into the fuel buffer and then you know coming you know the the lines going downhill from there. The combination of those things worked to prov you know to eliminate the problems I was having with uh, basically sloshing in the system that was then causing some of the these generators down here at times to go offline. Uh, so even though I was producing enough fuel, it wasn't making it into the system. Now the other thing that I did here and we'll look at in within the system here is you can see that there are a whole lot of batteries that I have put in here. This is just as a buffer system. Uh, if something happens and I need to restart things, the batteries come up with it. I've got 100 megawatt hours uh, charged uh, and stored here. Uh, and so the, uh, the, the this will give me uh, a good bit of time over what I'm doing, you know, if I need that, but there's 100 of the batteries that are installed here. I've got plenty of room to put in another 100. I may eventually put in another 100, but for now, 100 was enough, uh, and about all the tedium level of installing those things could handle. So, as you can see, the Christmas event as is going on as I'm recording this. Um, 
but that's the expansion or modifications that I have made to my fuel uh, fuel or power plant. So that, that's a fuel power plant. And if we back out of here, you can actually see what I have. So just walking you through how I resolved my issue with the fluid uh, dynamics and what was happening. It's working smoothly and I am producing just over, well, that particular plant right there is actually producing 15,000 uh, megawatts of power. I want to thank you for watching. If you're enjoying the video series, please hit the like button and leave me a comment of what else you might like to see. Thanks. Take care.